Hi everyone, it's Veronica and I am here to share with you a few of the projects that I have created for craft fair that I'm participating in. The craft fair is November 10th, um, so um, that will be the same day that this video airs, hopefully, and it is the only fair that I do during the year. Okay, so what you see in front of you are the coffee cup gift card holders and I did several of those and inside each cup I do um, place some peppermints just a couple and uh, I also added a sticker on top of the lid and these stickers came from Hobby Lobby last year so that, and I will get the lid back on shortly, but these are just a couple of them. And I've used a variety of Christmas papers that I've had um, in past years. I have not bought any new papers this year, so this is all um, papers that I've already had that were already in my stash. So that is the first one. In the description box, you will find the link to each tutorial that I followed to create these projects. This one, um, and I know Erica, Scrap Diva 29 did some of these this year. I did these also last year, uh, and they sold very well. So I decided to do it again, but the original video that I saw was from Scrapping for the Details. So, uh, I'm sorry, not Scrapping for the Details, Scrapping the details. The correct link will be in the box, but you will find those there if you choose to make some of them. But I think they turn out so, so cute. I do add paper to the back to finish it off, but they are adorable. And you just insert your gift card uh -oh, right here. She said that it's not a necessary step, but I just thought it was cute. So I did it. All right, that's one. And I also saw this several years ago and thought it was the cutest thing. And I saw it from Cheryl, who is Jim's Isle. But this is the My Creative Time lollipop holder. And um, Cheryl transformed it into a Santa. And I thought they turned out so cute. I didn't have a mustache dye to use, so I do have a silhouette, so that's where the, the mustache came from. This bling was in my stash. This I just used a regular hole punch for, and then I just cut the strips. So that is another. And this one, this video I've had saved for quite some time, this tutorial. This is Rose Castillo, and I do apologize. I am doing this um, recording at night, so the lighting is not the best, but I thought these were the cutest things, and they are just so quick and easy to make, and I think you can get four. It's either four or five out of a um, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. The pattern paper is a download um, that I got off Etsy because I didn't have any coffee paper that I, you know, my coffee paper is gone, but I wanted these colors, the browns and the greens. And then I just typed up the sentiment, life happens, coffee helps. And I used a uh, spellbinders dye to cut that out. I used Amber's um, tutorial to do the wallet notepads. Um, she uh, made a point of making sure that hers was flat on the front so in case you throw it in your purse but I had those stickers from Hobby Lobby and I really wanted to use them so I just added those and again papers from my stash so this is a belly band that comes off these were quick and easy to do as well so I was really trying to uh, match the color of the papers with the uh, design paper that I was using. And those little pads, of course, came from the Dollar Tree. 
And we will get your belly band back on in a minute. So I'm going to leave that because I'm not going to hold you too long. All right, this next one, I saw Creative Young Mama show these on her channel. And she ran across this paper tray ink um, video tutorial. And that's where this came from. And these are the little girlfriend stickers from Hobby Lobby using cutouts from, um, and the paper as well, from LOL. And the notepads came from Paper Tray Ink. Of course, you can get paper cut if you'd like from um, Office Depot, Staples, or wherever. But I thought these turned out really, really cute. Okay, so that's that one. This one came from Poodle's Paper Craft. I have done these for as long as I've been doing um, craft fairs, which has been about three, maybe four years. But this is a Tic Tac holder. Simple, simple, simple. And this uh, punch is the Stampin' Up! Tag Topper Punch. So it's just the paper. I forget how many you can get out of a sheet of paper, but easy peasy. And I buy the uh, pack of Tic Tacs from Sam's because it's like 13 in the pack. I think that's right. So I do 13 and they do sell. Okay. And I also did some of the lip balm holders using my favorite things lip balm dye and the pouches and I also get the chapsticks from Sam's and there are 12 in the pack so that's how many I do is 12 and I just use glitter paper to do this part around here and I did have the uh, tear strip so I do that also all right, so that's those. Um, you've seen this video when I showed these. I decided to just go ahead and package them. This is uh, AliExpress dye. I think it's Alina Crafts, I believe. So that's how I packaged them. The bags came from... Uh, oh my goodness, what is the name of that company? Clear bags. Oh boy. Clearbags.com. And I liked it because, and you can just buy regular bags and do this, but it was just easy. And their prices are so good. But this piece already came in it, which gives it a little sturdiness. And this was the Honeybee Stamps dies. Okay. And this tutorial was from Alize Crafts. And rather than use the K-Cups, which uh, everyone does not have a K-Cup, um, a Keurig, a Keurig. I just decided to do a regular pack of the hot chocolate, the peppermint sticks, the candy canes from, came from Walmart. All that stuff is out now. This is a jaded blossom dye. Uh, the topper is a jaded blossom dye. And this bow was AliExpress. This is, the cup was my favorite things. And the marshmallows came from Oriental Trading. Uh, Tamika had done a video several years ago, Scrap the World. And that's where um, she had gotten hers from. So that worked out really, really well. All right, that was one of them. And this is the other. I hope these colors are coming out okay. But again, I'm doing this at night. Okay, and then I also did um, this mini, which I'm going to put on my table. Well, it's not so many. But it came from Pinecone Press when I went to the expo. So I got that one finished. I didn't do the other one, but I got this one finished. Turned out so, so cute. Love, love, love it. That folds out to add stuff in. 
I mean, it is just so adorable. And I know the whole thing is not in frame. Oops, sorry, hit the camera, sorry. But it turned out adorable. I love this last page where you just put a little photo from preschool through sixth grade. All right, so that's going on the table as well. And I did some TNs. I used that pretty, pretty unicorn paper from Joann's. I did three of those. I was like, what are you thinking? And I kind of loaded them up with stuff. I made a folder here and I just like the idea of having a calendar in there and sticky notes. And when I did this, I had little girls in mind. So hopefully when they're purchased, that's who they're purchased for. This um, little pad and the calendar was a set from Dollar Tree. And I did do a shaker. I'm so sorry about that glare. I had stickers from Hobby Lobby that I added in. Like I said, I kind of loaded this up with stuff. And that's the other part of the uh, shaker. And I ended up, these little pads came from BJ's, which is another wholesale club. I just took the covers off and used some of the pattern paper from the uh, collection and redid those. Here's the dashboard and that. Now, these are going to be, oh, and there are the clips right there, packaged in these bags. And these came from Party City, along with, and remember I had little girls in mind, along with a pen and a pencil. These. Uh, pencils came from Oriental Trading, the pens from Dollar Tree, as well as, and I just couldn't leave it out, the keychain. Now, the keychain won't fit in that bag, so I don't know how I'm going to do this, but we'll work it out once I get the table set up. But I thought that was a nice little set. And then the charm on the side was from Hobby Lobby. It was two in a set. Okay, so that's that one. I also did, I did quite a few, y'all. I think I did nine TNs, but I did this one that was teacher related because the, um, I'm sorry, the um, craft fair is held at a school. So there are the charms there. The TN is here. And this was paper that I had in my stash that is uh, red. I know it's not showing up the way it should. And... This clip I had in my stash, I was using it for my planner, but here's the shaker. And then these pads came from Michaels. There's the dashboard, the folder, and that. And then in the back, I added some little sticky notes. And this was the front. Oh gosh, I am so sorry, guys. I'm sorry. That's the front. Okay, and of course you saw the tote from Our Daily Bread. So that's what that one will be housed in. And I think it would be so cute sitting on a desk. Okay, all right, and like I said, I did nine, so I did Ooh La La, uh, Petals and Bloom, blooms uh what else did i have it was several paper stacks that i used but i also did breast cancer i did two of those it was two different paper pads from hobby lobby and this is the charm um this was like a sticker in one of the paper pay or uh, that came with a sticker set and i just uh, traced it to do another and these charms came off some uh, 
another longer charm that I had. I just took those apart. And these are the clips. Again, that was out of the sticker pack, so I just added um, the paper clip to it. And then the one that says Pink Survivor also. I did add shakers to every one of them. And then I just added some other uh, stickers that could be used. There's the folder. Added some more stickers. And I recovered um, the paper pads from there as well. And then in the back, added more notes that could be used. And I probably overdid it a little bit for what I'm going to end up charging for it, but that's okay. But I think they turned out really, really cute. And we are missing your dashboard, darling. Let's put this in here. All right. And if um, I don't have a clip on the side with the pen, then the pen will fit in here in the little pocket on the side so that's where that's going to go and that is just a sampling of what I have done prayerfully it goes well and again I apologize for the lighting and it's been rainy 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 here anyway so I don't know if doing it during the daytime would have been any better but thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, I need to go now and pack my car because I'll be leaving out at 7 a.m. The show, the uh, fair is from 9 to 4. So I need to make sure I'm there by 7.30 to get set up. Oh, sorry about that. Here's the pen. Dollar Tree pen. That goes in there. All righty. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you and welcome to any new subscribers that I have. Happy crafting, everyone.